Good morning, this is uh, Henrik. It is now uh, today, Saturday, November 4th, 2017. And I feel like speaking to you, my friends, of beauty. A few more drops of beauty in this world of increasing virtual horror and ugliness will set us freer to be happier. So, where shall we seek beauty? And how shall we find beauty? Unless beauty herself be our way, and beauty herself be our guide. And uh, how shall we speak of beauty, except beauty be the weaver and the canvas of our speech? The aggrieved people and the injured say, beauty is kind and gentle, like a young mother half shy of her own glory, beauty walks among us. And the passionate among us say, No, beauty is a thing of might and dread. Like the tempest, she shakes the earth beneath us and the sky above us. The tired and the weary say, Beauty is of soft whisperings and pleasant breezes. She speaks in our spirits. Beauty's voice yields to our silences in our heart, like a faint light that quivers in fear of the shadows. But the restless say, we have heard beauty shouting among the mountains, and with beauty's cries came the sound of hoofs, and the beating of wings, and the roaring of lions. At night, the watchmen of the city say, Beauty shall rise with the dawn from the east. And at noontide, the toiling laborers, the wayfarers and the seafarers say, We have seen beauty leaning over the earth from the windows of sunset. In winter, the snowbound will say, Beauty shall come with the spring leaping upon the hills. Beauty will rise with the morning star and the sun. And in the summer heat, the harvest reapers will say, We have seen beauty dancing with the autumn leaves. And we saw a drift of snow in her lovely hair. All these things have been said of beauty, yet in truth we spoke not of beauty, but of our needs unsatisfied for beauty. And beauty is not a need, but an ecstasy. Beauty is not a mouth thirsting for water or for a kiss, nor an empty hand stretched forth to obtain something, but rather a heart inflamed with the beauty of beauty's love and a soul enchanted by her many wonder works. Beauty is not the image you would see, nor the song you would hear, but rather beauty is an image you see through closed eyes and an elevated heart and a song you may hear though you shut your ears. Beauty is not the sap within the furrowed bark of a tree nor a wing attached to a bird but rather the bird in flight and the tree alive and living, and a garden forever in bloom, and a flock of angels forever in flight.
Are you not angels, forever in flight? Beauty is life when life unveils her holy face. That you are life and you are the veil. Beauty is eternity gazing at itself in a mirror. And remember, you too are beautiful. You too are eternity. You are the mirror and you are the source beyond the mirror and beyond and within all beautiful things in this universe and they include your own unique beauty. <laughs> this said, in the love of beauty, the love of all life, and the love of you, and the love of all of us, humans, animals, and natural wonders.